Hey everybody, hope you're having a good Thursday thus far. For some of us, it's a very happy time because school will let out, which means no more waking up early to take our kids to school. No, it's kind of funny because we can't wait for them to get back to school after summer vacation. Me personally, I cannot wait for them to get out of school in the next week. But anyway, <clears throat> this is the video. So we're going to have an unboxing of the GM3 Beam Master from Gundam Build Divers. The new animated series. I know I haven't done one of these in a while. And this was a request from my friend Scott. So this is for you, Scott. And anybody else who's interested in this kit. So basic artwork right on the front. Lovely as always. Here goes your information on the side. Nothing really big. Haven't opened this yet. Uh, the main question that was coming up, and a couple people also asked me this, is does it have the... the this part here on the changeling rifle, I don't think why it wouldn't, because it shows it, but you never know. And some more information here. Blah, blah, blah. As you can see, it's still in the cellophane. Haven't opened it, so we're going to open this sucker up right now. Let me start this, and I'm going to pause the video so I can reposition the camera, and that way you can get a better view of what's in the box. All right, so here we go. Cellophane's off. We're opening the box for the first time. And right away, we have some very brightly colored parts, which was what I was wondering, personally. Let me go ahead and open this up. Because <clears throat> I was debating whether or not to repaint or just do a straight assembly. Um, Smith suggested maybe I should add some caution stripes to it. We'll see. Well, thus far, I'm thinking it's going to be a straight assembly. So, let's see. Here's the sprues, obviously, for the beam rifle here. Your standard beam rifle stuff. So, on um, sprue A, you have three different color parts. Uh, lighter orange here. Darker orange there. Got a clear part, which is the visor. See if I could get it to focus a bit. Too many colors going on. Anyway, so yeah, that's the visor there. Probably going to have to do the typical uh, paint aluminum behind it with the green. So that way it gives it a nice look. Then you have this nice khaki color here. So it offsets it a little bit. Pretty cool. And the usual stickers. Gundam stickers. For your sensors and all that goodness. Not too many stickers on here. Probably worth repainting just those areas because it's not a lot. Very little touch up work. Anyway, so moving on. You know, we'll just go ahead and open up all these baggies because I'm probably going to build this over the weekend. Obviously more parts here. Um, I can't remember what these are for. Whatever's on the side. Gotta admit, I've only watched like one episode of Build Divers. Not because I don't like it, but because of my time. Uh, Sprue C2. Looks it certainly looks interesting enough. And this bag has pretty much all the poly caps and. Parts that are probably going to be hidden, more than likely. The white parts, legs, uh, vents are in this screw, more legs. Here's the head. Let's go ahead and open it up so we can look at the head unit. I couldn't tell you why my camera's not focusing today. Probably because of too many colors on there. Anyway, there is the head unit. Typical Gundam head unit. I do like that it has the uh, the, the cannons up top here. A little bit different than what we're used to with them being recessed. I like them being po poked out a little bit. So yeah, so here's the white parts. Again, nothing really major going on. <clears throat> I 
Here's the shield. I'm looking forward to this build because it is a retooling of the GM. And the GM is actually one of my favorite Gundams because it is a just basically a frontline infantry unit. It's the grunt of the Gundam universe. It really is. And it's very versatile. I, I just really enjoyed the design. Sometimes the most basic things are the favorite things, you know? Okay, so the shield is obviously clear. You know, you got to put in the store. I think I missed it. And missile racks. More stuff that probably won't be seen very often. <clears throat> Handguns, handguns, handguns. So that looks like a very basic old school redesigned GM handgun. And option parts. And of course the backpack. And then we have the little piece for the visor right here. And it's like super tiny. Super, super, super small. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I honestly, guys, I have no idea why my camera is not focusing. I don't know what's up. I guess you can tell how small it is. All right, so. Of course, we have the newer instructions. Where now they're coming with, like... Two sets of booklets. Um, not really a booklet, but more information here. Which I guess is good for beginners. You know, people who may be just starting the scale hobby. Of course, the regular thing. Now, it does have some information in here. Um, again, I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyway, uh, Yuki's Gumbla. <clears throat> excuse me. Yuki's Gumbla of Choice, built by himself... Uses the GM3 as its base kit and specializes in logistic support faithful and logistic support, sorry. Faithful to its name, the Beam Master is equipped with newly designed beam armaments, such as main changeling rifle, which allows a wide variety of attachments, uh, attacks using mega particles. The physical weapons on the original kit were not omitted. But their sensor units were upgraded and their attachment positions were changed with the addition of these beam armaments. The leg unit structures and thrust have been especially enhanced to gain stability during precision shooting, resulting in a solid down-to-earth gunpla which suits Yuki. Then some information on Yuki here. Again, I haven't watched the series. But you get the idea here of what goes on with this particular Gundam. Let's see. More information here. Uh, material Gundam. I guess that's the U HG UC 126-1144. This kit was also featured in Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta as a mass-produced GM type mobile unit. The GM3 became the mainstay unit for the Earth Federation forces. Mark II technology was used during this de its development, which greatly enhanced its performance as a mass production unit. Opti optional armaments also increased its firepower. Okay. So yeah. So the big thing is, I'm looking for this changeling rifle. Let's see. Looking for it in the instruction manual. Just to make sure that it does exist. And it does do what it does. What it says it does. Okay, Scott, here you go. So, and step 11, the weapons, one, two, three, and that's where you get to choose where it goes, to see there, I guess to see there goes up or down, and then it's boom right there. So it looks like it's going to be a hefty sized weapon, um, then of course when you add it on here, Makes it look even bigger. So yeah. There you go Scott. Alright. So that was the basic. Back to basics. Gunpla. 
unboxing video. I'm sorry it's lackluster. Uh, I got to figure out what's going on with the camera, but I wanted to get this done early because I do have quite a bit of Gashland stuff and 15mm sci-fi gaming stuff I need to get to today. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope this was informative. Helps you decide whether or not you do want to pick up this Gunpla kit. Um, it does look fun. It looks interesting. Like I said, I may just do a straight assembly because I do like the colors out of the box. It's different. It's very bright. Um, but, now that I'm looking over at my paint rack. Let's see if I can actually get it out. I'm wondering if I should use the orange fluorescent Vallejo Mecca color on it. I have not used this color yet. <clears throat> and I'm thinking maybe it's time to use it. Should be a very, because most of the colors are, most of it's just one color. So it should be a very easy, quick paint job. So it might be more than the weekend. I don't know. Let's Let's compare this real quick. So you have that. Compared to the fluorescent orange, I'm thinking I'm, hmm, tough decision. This is a new kit, so I can always get a new one in about two more weeks. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Mecca color. Same basic design, using the grays and the orange and that khaki color, because I, I have all those colors on hand and maybe just dirty it up especially right here this part right here the thrusters definitely got to dirty that up maybe add a little bit of silver i'm getting ahead of myself anyway yeah that's it i think i'm gonna go with this again hope this was informative let you figure out if you want to go ahead and pick this kit up or not um it looks like a fun kit all right have a good one guys i will have another video later in the afternoon hope you have a pleasant day and take it easy. Later.